hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today i'll show you this type of wedding logo making and this one is creative how to make this type of logo let's see today's tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification and if you are already subscriber hit the like button and share with your friends let's get started going to the file and taking new artboard which is uh, 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and giving the logo name w logo that means the wedding logo with the create button and after that you are getting this type of white canvas after that going to the rectangle tool and drawing a rectangle or square shape turn off the stroke giving the color which is the like a black color like a little bit uh, ash type so let's see here the percentage that is 0 0 and 10 percent 10 percent black this one and after that lock this layer for the work convenient and then taking new layer upper side of this and then we'll work over here at first i'll draw or write something the text go to the text tool and press once increasing the size and taking the color different types of color okay fine and after that writing something which is like uh, rb okay or r and b and then making it bigger by pressing shift and dragging that things and now i'll change the font different types of font this type of and i'll provide you the font download link in my video description so don't worry about that select this r actually deleting these two things and select this r and glyphic will appear over here and select from here and this portion like that or select this one and select this one so this glyphic will appear okay after that place in the middle okay and right press and create outline after that i'll draw uh, like a circle over here and just double click over these things and taking a side or left side okay and then like that or you can just adjust that things with this portion so it will be more creative that means um, it's like look like you just written over here in one attempt and here that's good go to the ellipse tool and draw circle like this this type of circles and making it stroke mode giving the stroke thickness two or three which one is convenient uh, or matches with the like lines so i'll give here six or seven that's good and go to the objects and expand the appearances and hit the ok button and this one is no more uh, like a stroke this one is shape now meanwhile middle like this okay fine or uh, making that two things group and making it in a middle like that now ungroup that things and now i'll cut over this portion so how to do that taking rectangle and draw the rectangle like this that's good and making it in the middle select this rectangle and this circle and then go to the pathfinder tool if you want to get the pathfinder over here go to the window and pathfinder in this portion and after that just minus that things you are getting this portion like that now time to write down photography in a normal font so how to do that go to the text tool and write down something and giving the, the font like a nixa okay nixa bold and writing the photography okay then just making it white color and go to the character options making it all caps and the font size will be like that gap between two letters i'll make it 200 that's good and just place over here right press and create outline before that i want to make it more smaller like that and want to change the gap between two letters or two alphabets i'm giving it 600 that's good and placing it in a middle right press and create outline if you create it outline and outline mode it won't work to change the font so i'm just placing over here this this angle and in a middle okay 
that's fine and selecting all the things now i'll give the color so where i got this color i got this color from this this color but i want to change it out how to do that go to the hsb portion and the brightness portion i just made it like this so if you want to uh, export this one or if you want to use these things in your photography how to do that turn off the background and select these things and export the selection and give the name logo and if this one is a png make sure that png otherwise it won't be the transparent background and export the asset it will export in any place like this so i'm copying this thing and just taking in this my directory and now i'll go to the photoshop and after going to the photoshop i place that um, logo in my any kind of photography it could be the logo or it could be the photo where i want to place the logo go to the file and place embedded options and then that photo that png file actually this one placing over here and then uh, if you want to change the like color or other stuff how to do that go to the solid color portion and then make it create clipping mask and if you want to change the color it will change okay so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the font please check out my video description until the next video i may say when i'm signing out today bye bye